uh, just, just as we're getting ready to wrap up, uh, coming mm. up to the, the, the final question. And of course, this was back from your single day, so I'm not trying to incriminate anyone no, today. Uh, you can't uh, incriminate me now. Uh, based on the footage I've seen, you, someone's going down. Uh, but you, uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I interviewed, a couple of months ago, I interviewed Monique from Radio Gunk, who okay. has uh, big tits. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but I just thought I'd point that out. But uh, we were talking about the fact that there was always these sort of long running rumors that uh, mm-hmm. Hardstone himself, maybe back in the nineties, wasn't you know the most loyal of guys uh, as he claimed to be. There was there was rumors that Grillo kind of mentioned that during the film in a private part, Stern mm-hmm. maybe ha- hooked up with Jenna Jameson. Which must have been terrible banging her in the mid nineties. Ugh, wish it wasn't me. And all this kind of stuff. And then there's all these stuff about scores and all that shit. So, uh, Bob, uh, from back in from your experience, what were those uh, hard stern after parties like? There wasn't many. You know, we'd go to scores and that, but it was just calm. Uh, you know, you had to be calm. We're sitting next to the Yankees. We're sitting next to. You know, whatever, and Lonnie was the best. He would tell the strippers, me and Florentine, when they went out, he goes, these guys are movie producers, you know, <laughs> and he'd just be, you know, he'd just be a team player. So, I mean, like Howard was hardly ever there. It was quick and he was gone, you know. I only seen him twice out, you know, one time at a restaurant. We, I remember we were eating, him and Beth came in, and then maybe it scores once, you know, but he was never really he, hanging out, you know? What, what, did, what did Beth eat? A salt lick? A no, deal of hay? No, she was very, she's very nice. Very nice and pretty unbelievable sexier in person. You know what I mean? Sort of like how I am. Like, I look so much better when you see me in front. You're like, oh my God. You know, but like, yeah, she 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 is unbelievable, and she's very nice. She was very nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, sure. one, can I have, ask one quick quick question before before we wrap up, Husey? I sniffed uh, and... her seat both times. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob, I heard uh, heard you recently on an old O and A, and I just mm-hmm. wanted to ask you. I don't know if you remember this story, but why did you and Jim Norton think jerking off on the TV in a hotel room was going to affect Florentine in any way, shape, or form? We probably didn't. At the, when you look back at it, it was probably something to do. You know what I mean? It helped you sleep better that night. You know, he got rid of his load uh, with some girl, and we were upset. So we took turns jerking on the TV. And fucking Jim walks in, and he does his finger thing. And he goes, nice. And he keeps walking. <laughs> it, it was just, you know, it, it, look, I, I'm going to finish my book one day. It's going to be pretty entertaining because there's so many more stories. I just have to talk to them about them, too. Because you forget, it was every weekend, it was something. Every weekend was like so much fun. It's not like that anymore. Now you just go to a gig and you want to leave. You know, there you were looking for victims. Do you do you have a, a title for the book in mind? Um, no, not yet. You should call it uh, My Struggle, but maybe you should use a different, uh, an international pronunciation of it, maybe German or Austrian. Yeah, okay. I don't get that. Uh, mein Kampf is written by this oh, guy. Oh, okay. Called, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. Oh, you see? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's funny. He's good, this guy. Yeah, it's, like, good, yeah. it's like that old Norm MacDonald joke where he goes, hey, never judge a book by its cover unless it's Mein Kampf. <laughs> his timing, is his voice and everything, it just works on jokes, you know? It's, okay. it's an unbelievable thing. Can I uh, uh, do you my favorite Norm Macdonald joke? Well, n- yeah. name 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 any film at random. It's a Wonderful Life. I uh, I got a great idea for a sequel. Mm-hmm. It, it's a Wonderful Life too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke, you know. I haven't uh, thought that that's as far as I've gotten the production, but it's good. <laughs> it, but it's funny the way he said it. it really is. I mean, he can say he, anything he says makes you laugh. Yeah, he you had says, AIDS. Oh, I'll go. I'll go mine. I can't remember who the Heisman Trophy winner was, uh, but he <laughs> said, "You won the Heisman Trophy. Uh, no one can ever take that away from you, unless you kill your wife and a waiter. And then what are you going to do?" <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but but uh, just getting back to the hooers from the stun show that was because I've always thought it was weird <clears throat> that they would bring porn stars onto the show because the interviews were always exactly the same. Like, oh, uh, do you like making it with chicks? Uh, do you like eating the sausage? All that stuff. That's why you have to watch the on YouTube the crystal clear interview. It's it's the best. It was all of us in there. It was probably the funniest one ever. And it was only played once on the air because I believe her boyfriend threatened to kill everyone, including Howard. And it only aired once. So it's only on YouTube. You'll never hear it ever anywhere. What about old uh, Savannah Sampson? She was a good interview. Hey, eh, Bob? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially, uh, I heard you interviewed her about uh, Bon Jovi stuff, about... Uh, about banana juice, about uh, Billy Joel, uh, Basement Jacks, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I'm sure you interviewed her all about that kind of meaty, throaty topics. Hey, hey, yes, yeah, uh, she's but, very nice person too. Very nice. Uh, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, I've seen it, 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 it an arsehole. No, I know. Me too. I seen it uh, when they were filming the thing, but then, yeah, yeah, she's uh. Pretty nice. She was. Uh, she had a wine place. She uh, opened up a wine place. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But for women that the that spell with it's W H I N E, and that's that's, <laughs> that's it's called the podcast these days.